Okay guys, here's what I got. Stock market technical analysis. I'm gonna get right into the charts. Try to keep this video short so that I can get it out for everyone. Okay, so looks like a back test today, at least in the S&P 500, the SPY. Uh, the Qs, we, we don't have a full breakdown in tech sector yet. So that's something that kind of, that you need to weigh and, and pay attention to. Here's the, here's the, uh, S&P 500 futures, the ES, you can see they've basically rallied it right back to the resistance line. So, um, you know, it's either we're either looking at a false breakdown or we're going to get rejected here on this back test. So something to watch for. Uh, let's look at the SPY. Here's the SPY and here's the trend line in green. We broke down yesterday. Uh, we have on the daily chart, negative divergence on the daily, everything signals a breakdowns coming. We got the sell signal yesterday, right there on the daily close. Today, they're popping it right back up to the resistance line. Let's go to the hourly. You can see we're just kind of hanging out there. So again, the days is still got a, you know, a little bit more time in the day. They might rally it up and pop it above this support line. And this was a bear trap, false breakdown. That's always possible, or the or we're going to get rejected here and sell off. Uh, again, the the Qs has not broken down yet. Let's look at the Qs. So the Qs basically they they rally the Qs up, and you know we're kind of we've got this wedge this bearish wedge wedge action going here in the Qs, uh, and they rally it back up kind of the, to the topper end of that uh, range. So no real sell signals or breakdowns in the Qs. Uh, and we, but we do have it in the SPY. So that gives me a little bit of pause. One thing that I do to mitigate the potential of false breakdowns, uh, just a quick kind of lesson. When, when, I'm, when I'm short something, when it starts to move in my direction like it was yesterday, I take a little bit off. I take some profit on that first initial move. Uh, it helps lock in some profit in case you get a whipsaw or a false breakdown then you you know you're able to either exit the trade break even or uh, maybe a little bit of profit or keep the loss small it just helps with mitigating some of the risk uh, and so i always do that on every trade uh, when we start to when it starts to work in my direction okay sorry i had to take a break so <clears throat> hughes hasn't broken down spy is potentially back testing uh, there's al always the scenario for a uh, false breakdown as well. So it's always, you know, everything's a risk. We have to just mitigate the risk by, you know, taking profit as trades start working in your favor. One thing to keep an eye on, volatility has not subsided. So looking at like UVXY, we're still hanging in there really right at your support line. We just keep uh, holding support about 1271. And you can go to the daily, you can see that that's a breakout in volatility. We had bullish divergence intact, a little bit of a pullback today, but still holding above support. So to me, looks like volatility is going higher. And if volatility goes higher, that's kind of signaling that the market's likely to, con to continue to come down. Doesn't have to. And go just going back to the SPY chart, you know, it, it looks like we're going to fail here and back test and fail. But, you know, we got to see it. So obviously in, at this point now, an undercut of the recent lows it would, would be a potential area to add on to a, a short position. Okay, so let's take a look at Tesla real quick. That's some kind of a major player in, in, in the kind of the speculative marketplace, um, which is what a lot of these trades are. Tesla uh, reported earnings broke down. Now the dip buyers did step in and they have bid it up, but they haven't recovered that broken trend line. So looking back here on the hourly chart, you've got this trend line right here. We've been walking up that for a while. Uh, recently broke it, and we're just seeing, you know, we're just seeing some of the dip buyers come in uh, on the initial reaction. So again, obviously this can continue to run up to back test that broken trend line. We now also have a gap. So I think it's likely at some point we do a gap fill Maybe it's today or tomorrow. I don't exactly know. But the point is, we did break trend. There, that is a sell signal. So uh, I'm just, you know, I'm take it for face value is what basically I'm doing. Okay, Qualcomm. <clears throat> Yesterday there was a sell signal. Here's the daily chart. You can see 
uptrend channel right there uh, since the March lows. We have negative divergence right there on the RSI and the PPO on this daily chart. And there's your breakdown right there. So that's a sell signal. Today, seeing a little bit of a kickback rally. But again, if this sell signal is going to hold, then these rallies shouldn't go too far. You know, I mean, we can obviously back test the trend line, but we should see, you know, we should see more selling come in uh, shortly. So watch for that. And otherwise, you know, if they gap it back above here, this trend line and start to run it higher, well, then that was a false breakdown or a bear trap. As of right now, it is a sell signal and we're treating this as resistance where we should get rejected. Here's Citibank. Again, it's not doing much. We're still below the resistance line, which if I roll out, there's your 2011 lows on this daily chart run up, hit support there, hit support there. Then we broke and it's been resistance pretty much ever, ever since. Now we did have a false breakout right there and this so far is a false breakout. Um, and you can see we're just below that line right there. It's about sitting at about 61 and a half, 61.50. That should be, that should hold his resistance and uh, we should continue to move lower. So as of right now today, we're just seeing kind of more chop action in this recently snap here this one definitely is a false breakdown you can see there on the daily chart yesterday broke down and closed down today they gapped it up and and ran it all the way to the top of the trend line so that's clearly a false breakdown i didn't you know i'm not i don't have a position in this one and again you know waiting for a breakdown to for this gap fill uh but as of right now it's a false breakdown so we have to wait and see for wait for another breakdown. Until then, it's it's still bullish. Um, there is big negative divergence st still intact. Uh, so you know these divergences are are pretty large, and it's telling me there's going to be a breakdown. But as of right now, that that was a false breakdown in that one. So Nike here, uh, I added back some short exposure. Uh, this one's been working very nicely. So if I go to the hourly chart, you can see. We've been selling off. We sold right down to support, which was about 131. It's about 131. And then we had a back test up to what was former support, which is about 130, 136.30. You can see we pretty much tagged that perfectly. I haven't moved these lines. And so far we're just hanging, hanging in there. So this is resistance. I added back some short exposure because as we fell down to support, I covered some of my short uh, and I just added that back here at resistance looking for this to head back down to support. And then once we get down there, I think it's likely we're gonna break that support and head down to the next level, which sits down here at 126.26. <clears throat> so, yep, that's that's how I see that one playing out. Um, moving on. Okay, energy here, XLE. It's just kind of taking a breather today, but just really just kind of sideways. A little, you know, we're getting a little bit of a rally, but only a percent and a half. So again, I could easily, you know, we could back test. That's probable. We come up and back test this 42 area uh, and then get rejected. I still see this as looking good for lower prices, heading down to what looks to be about 34, you know, 34 bucks. 200 day moving average is sitting here at 36.30 as well. Uh, or no, sorry, where I'm on the hourly. Let me look at the daily. Uh, yeah, it's about. 36.44. Um, so again, still looks good. Okay, that's all I got really. So we just have to wait to see what's going on, whether we have a false breakdown or we have a back test and we're going lower. Uh, negative divergences are still intact across all the indices. Volatility is holding up. Uh, you know, we're, we're seeing signs, you know, there's plenty of signs that say the market's going lower, but now we just wait to see what the price action does. So thank you. Leave me a thumbs up 